This is Jenny, who is a little bit of a superstar. There she is. And she's with her owner, Steve Darling, who is a Lib Dem MP for Torbay. Um, hello, it's good to see you. Good to, good to be um, here. Tell me about why Jenny's such a superstar. Um, she um, walks around Westminster with me and seems to light up the place, particularly big, scary men and ladies with big guns. They, they, it's, it's my, you know, people who are with me tell me that it's as, as if they're looking at their firstborn. <laughs> uh, that she, uh, she, she really does. She's more than an icebreaker. She's a really good way of bridging you know, across to people. And I believe you have to put more time in for uh, your journeys because everybody wants to stop. And there was even a, a couple from a, a different country yeah, who, no, who stopped you. I think it was the first time it happened. I had a couple who were from Mexico who said, oh, it's the famous Jenny, can we have a photo? And you, you can often hear whispers near but you with people saying, oh, it's Jenny and so forth. And I've also had it at uh, surgeries in Torquay where residents have come along and said, oh, my kids are really jealous that I'm going to see Jenny. And I said, well, do you want to a selfie and we you know we have people there but then she's also escaped halfway through a surgery to go to a children's group next door to go and join in with them <laughs> really going a bit too off piste for a guide dog um, how long have you had her a uh, couple of years yeah. and she's uh, very very good on a number of levels okay and how does she deal with the big city um, <clears throat> I think she just enjoys it as a challenge. My wife's also got a guide dog that uh, is nine years old, Jenny's four. And um, when we came up in the summer, just for a, a little getting the flat sorted out and things like that, her dog as well was really enjoying a different environment, a new challenge, because that's what their world is, is guide dogs, is that it's all about enjoying new challenges and supporting their owner. And how hard is it for you? How challenging is it for you in, in the House of Commons? Because it's, it's a very old building. It, Lots it of is. Thousand it's, years old. it's a three-dimensional maze, but I know that colleagues who are fully sighted equally have their own challenges uh, with working out where things are. But it's also it's more the, the, the bigger thing of, you know, getting accessibility to things, um, having memory of where things are. But, you know, it, it is all about making sure you're championing your local community in Torbay and standing up for issues that people are concerned about, things like the winter fuel allowance cut uh, that uh, we're, we're doing this week as uh, Lib Dems in Parliament. There we go, there's the politics bit. Um, where are the two, what, the, there's two places in particular that she particularly likes, aren't there? Yeah, she enjoys the chamber because you can go there and have a good sleep. Uh, the problem is that uh, is sometimes... Is humans as well or just a dog? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think she'd quite, quite happily curl up with another human. But yeah. uh, I, I, I would say that she... Um, the problem is when she's deep sleep and she's dreaming about chasing a rabbit or a cat, Squirrels, yeah. she, she starts to, to, to whimper with excitement and yep. things like that. So, so that's, that's not so good. Yep. Um, and then, of course, the, the cafe is a favourite place that we must be going uh -huh. to the cafe because she will offer you... It's like I've actually come back this week and I've actually got my own office, whereas we had a shared space before. When we went down that corridor where the shared space was, she, she was immediately got to the door and offered me, oh, we go in here because they've got such good memories, guide dogs have. They are incredible. And I'm guessing there's the odd little um, bit of food on the floor, which yeah, is what she might be looking for. That's the cafe, for. without a doubt. Yeah. Um, I'm guessing you also get a very warm reception from Mr Speaker, because he's a big animal lover, isn't he? He is. He is. Uh, when I swore in, um, it was really nice. He jumped off his seat and made a big fuss of the dog. Uh, but also, he, when he's been processing in at the beginning of a parliamentary session, where it is a bit pomp and circumstance at the beginning of that, he'll break away from the procession and give Jenny a quick fuss on the way to the chair, which fun. is rather fun. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, what changes would you say overall need to be made to make life for you and others um, who have um, challenges, and only Jenny can help you with them, uh, that little bit easier in I, the House of Commons? I, I think you we're beginning to... I think there's signage to... Uh, uh, to committee rooms or toilet facilities and things like that tend to be above the door. If you're totally blind, it doesn't really matter where it is, whereas if you've got some eyesight like I have, then at eye level, it's very, very helpful. So there's little bits like that that people need to be alive to, but also it, it is the culture and uh, customer service that you have in the House of Commons and the staff, whether it's men with big guns 
or equally the doorkeepers are, or hall keepers are incredibly helpful and you know you, you couldn't ask for better customer service and help so they're, they're there to help at all times a quick thought before i let you go what's your uh, guidance for people who are thinking about whether they can come and uh, stroke jenny because i know that if, if uh, dogs uh, working dogs are in harness generally you're not really allowed to approach them I, that's the norm. I think always assume that and I think the secret is always ask the owner can I say hello to your dog rather than like I, I'm usually happy if the handle's down on the back it's fine. Um, other, other, other owners might be more grumpy than myself. <laughs> okay Steve thanks so much indeed.